have a seat. You know, that's the problem. I felt that I was teaching myself, yet I didn't have any good techniques. Yeah. So I wanted to learn the proper way. Every time I would see someone on a bike, my heart would always go, oh, someday, someday. Why yeah. is it that you waited to start to learn how to ride a bike until you were an adult? I think my life was quite busy. I had to raise my children all by myself. And, in and Haiti, put them to college and all that. I did all that by myself. And in Haiti, were you... I, you couldn't. Why not? I, as a girl, we, you know, it was very, um, I would say, they, they actually, it was very strict. Girls didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Why not? You know, most girls. There, I don't like know. That was the, it was a kind of a, mostly a boy thing. Okay. You know, girls did. If we did it, we had to hide from our parents. You know? mm. What got you started teaching adults? Well, uh, I had two friends of mine that I had taught. Mm -hmm. And I was a new bicycle mechanic. I was excited about being part of the bicycle world and community and fighting against cars and pollution and all that good stuff and loved bikes. Are you seeing an uptick in business because of gas prices? I or? don't know what it is because of, but this is the most busy I've ever been. Men, women, young, old. But it's more women than men, especially foreigners. But she said to herself, you know, I see a lot of other widows going out and having a good time together and I see elder bike rides. <laughs> you you invaded my personal space. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. It's like a dream come true. It's such a free feeling, you know, of being on the bike. Uh, it's like I see um, the world on a different way. It's almost as if nothing is there except me and and, and uh, nature that and since it was such a dream, for me, I felt that. Look at you. Now be ready to start paddling if you...